Now despite being fairly limited in its functions, this calculator, like a lot of HP calculators, does allow you to store and recall numbers, which is very nice. So you have all the registers. Um, so let's say I have the number 10 and I want to store that and it asks me which register I want to store it into. So let's restore it into register 1. Now, if I do another number, um, and then I recall register 1, I get my 10 back. So I've got 10 stored in register 1 right now. I can store in register 2, 3, 4, etc. If I want to multiply something in that register, or add, then it's very much like other calculators. So I would store and let's multiply what's in register 1 by uh, that number that we just entered, which was 10. So now if I recall register 1, I have 100, which is 10 times 10. So let's take 2, and let's subtract that, so store minus uh, from register 1. And now when I recall register 1, I have 98. I just subtracted 2 from that register. And then I can take 4, and let's store, and let's uh, divide register 1 by that. So we just divided register 1 by 4. So if I look in register 1 again, I've got 24.5.